You knew a game was gonna slap in 06 when you turned that console on and you were welcomed with that reverberated Activision. It sounded like you just hit a spoonful on the street corner and all of a sudden God spoke to you and now you're tripping out and you're seeing visions of Woody and Buzz on skateboards hitting side quests for McDonald's to earn Nokia ringtones. And that's cause games were fun. But what is fun? Fun is doing something exciting or rewarding, but also having the freedom to do what you want, to experience something in full, and to explore that thing. Take that, Sniper Man. You're a monster Oh my god, Gio, I didn't know you ran a fucking daycare center. Whoa! Yeah, that's how I get laid. I mean, just look at old Activision. Old Activision wasn't afraid of giving you freedom. Uh, you could create a park or you could swing around New York City when you weren't beating up on bad guys for just doing their job. <laughs> and not only were these games fun, but you bought the game in full and it was the game was always relevant. You know what I mean? Uh, even nowadays I can go back and bust a move in Shark Tale or I could go in a big game hunt. But you know what I can't do? <laughs> I can't be Rick Hoffman and go find a cutie little tank Dempsey online, or I can't go James Bond with some middle-aged unemployed dude. And that's because the task of creating a timeless game sort of hits a roadblock uh, when part of a game is lost to the internet. Whether that being the server shutting down, or uh, some sort of game breaking update, or just a lack of updates that uh, make the game uh, break on its own. And oftentimes, game companies get in hot water because uh, they're in a position where they're meant to provide fun and oftentimes put up these weird, bizarre barriers, uh, telling us our freedom to fireboard some Terry's online has come to an end. And then there's other companies like... <laughs> and those companies have found a workaround. And get this. They let the game die. They don't patch anything or update the game to stop rampant cheating, or they, they'll just uh, quit attempting to sell copies of their game altogether. Uh, they literally just do whatever they can uh, without directly touching the game to make it die. They'll release new games and they'll add updates to these new games to make sure everyone's playing fair and playing nice and then and then you go on Black Ops 2 and uh, report someone who's uh, obviously cheating at the game and uh, that company just... <laughs> it's, not, it's, not their, it's not their problem. If an artist from the 70s finds out that their music is no longer being played on cassette tapes, uh, what do they do? Do they make new music and forget about their old songs? Do they kick you in the balls for singing their songs with your friends? Or do they undercut the market by forming these large conglomerates and then using said large conglomerates to push out businesses attempting to sell tapes locally by bottlenecking their ability to make profit and therefore lowering their profit margins? No, <laughs> they, they put their songs on streaming or on iTunes or that last option. And if you can't tell, I'm making this mostly in response to a large mod that was recently taken down that uh, essentially tried to reboot the Modern Warfare community. If you haven't played Modern Warfare 2 recently like I have, uh, <laughs> let, me, let me update you a little bit. Uh, Modern Warfare 2 is available on legacy hardware only. Uh, the game itself is no longer supported and if it is officially for sale on any sort of website, then it's being sold as is with dead game modes and cheating and all within the game itself. And for those who are maybe on the younger side or don't have access to older consoles, then Modern Warfare 2 has been remade or rebooted multiple times, but if it's been remade, then it's either without the online mode, therefore uh, they remade the game, 
uh, in an incomplete state, aka they didn't release the entirety of the game, or they will reboot the series into a new form factor that doesn't even closely resemble the original. And I don't know, it's it's tough because I, I want to get into this, but I don't want to get into this because I have a separate, larger video plan down the road that gets into a lot of these topics. Um, but what I can say is that uh, when big game studios don't support old games and stop people from trying to reform dead game communities, it's by design. If you don't want a community to survive, you are actively trying to kill it, trying to rebrand it as something that it's not, and therefore make people forget the history of the game itself, uh, and in turn replacing it with a version of the game that uh, has nothing to do with the original, then you're not allowing people to have fun. You need to have freedom. You need to be able to experience a game in full, and then you need to be able to explore it in full. And that's weird, right? Because game companies are meant to produce fun games. Uh, if they don't want you having fun, then they aren't doing their job. There's two words in game company. Game and company. Remove the game and you just get the company. Anyway, uh, I hope you're having a good day and I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, and if you didn't have a good day, then I highly recommend you get a PlayStation 3. If, if you have a PS3, go, go play your PS3 today. I promise you your PlayStation 3 is missing you. And if you have an Xbox instead, uh, then you're dead to me. So don't ever click on this channel ever again. If you're an Xbox fanboy, I don't want to wanna talk to you. I don't want, I don't want you to look at me. I don't want to look at you. All right, buddy. Yeah, I'm talking to you, Derek. You fucking bitch. Xbox fanboy. What's your gamer score, bro? Huh? What's your gamer score? Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm pull up and I hear. I'm loving a swipe, she loving a kid. I'm a pull up in our head. Fuck, I'm the ones who made me again. I'm a pull up real quick. I'm dogging her back. She's not on my rest. She's not on my fear.